All right, here we are. After Tuesday's uh, mess up with technology, I'm hoping this is working today. Uh, in fact, I'm going to go ahead and probably just record this on my streaming software just so that I have a copy of it. I don't know if it's going to mess with stream quality, though, so I'll turn it on and uh, take a look and just see if it's still working all right. Uh, being Tuesday's VOD isn't up, uh, I'm going to kind of briefly go over what I did last uh, last week. Two days ago, I guess. It wasn't last week. And uh, kind of just do a brief overview. We're going to be doing more of it today. I got the nose file mostly done. I uh, started work on the tail file, so we've only got two more files of detailing to do. And most of the work was on this nose file anyway, so really not a big deal. Uh, the other one shouldn't take long. Uh, one second. I'm just still trying to keep an eye on everything, make sure everything's working the way it's supposed to uh yeah, i don't know what the deal was with tuesday i scheduled a stream uh, i did it the same way i always do i hit go live uh it said i was live i uh, worked for two hours and then uh when i hit in stream i didn't get the option to save the live stream and then there was no record of it ever being played on my channel so i don't know what happened there but uh missed out on some detailing is all we're gonna do more, so not a big deal. Uh, let's quickly take a look at what I covered on Tuesday. So uh, I guess I could open up the original file, but I, I don't think we need to. We can, uh, so here's the old stencils and you can see, let me turn off mine. One, there's a lot of stencils uh, and you can't read them. Well, I did. That's one thing I do need to mention. I did change the image size. So if you look here, why is that in? It should be in pixels. I did it up the image size from 2048 to 4096. Uh, and that was just so that I could get more detail in the font. So you can see these are kind of blurry, but if we turn off their stencils and turn on the ones that I made, they're smaller and yet more detailed. So by upping that resolution, I was able to get a little bit more detail into the uh, the text. Uh, the fonts that I'm using for most of these are just a stencil type font. Let's grab one real quick. 
Yeah, just indus industry incorporated stencil. Uh, that's what I'm using for most of them. Some of them are a little different, like these caution ones. I didn't use the stencil. And I might come back and change that. I used uh, a DIN 1451 for those. Uh, it's kind of a personal preference. Try to keep it kind of military looking at the same time as making it legible. So there's kind of a balance to be had there. Just checking stream settings. Everything seems to be streaming streaming all right. The mic looks a little low. I've been having lots of issues with audio and technology and old man and technology don't mix, I guess. But uh, we, we, oops, why did that not work? I hit a button, stuff changed, so eh, I guess we're still good. Uh, I did move some stuff down here. Some of, some of these templates come with like excess stuff. Like this is a jack point. This is, of course, refueling point, uh, lifting points. You can choose to have that stuff on your livery if you want. Uh, you can see there's a lot of extra text around these caution things that I put in. I just didn't really like the way this was laid out. So I kind of got rid of most of what they had on there as the template. And I kind of created my own. I did look at some real pictures. Uh, we did add these static ports in. This one, and some of the reference images I had, I found have a circle all the way around these. I like this style a little better, so I just went with that style of personal preference. I'm still not settled on the ejection seat and the rescue and this door being the color they are. I might make these black and white, and I actually made these in a separate file. Let me grab that file real quick. I haven't done a lot of US Air Force aircraft, so I didn't really have any of these uh, templates. Gotta find it. Here's my decal. Okay, let's load this up. So here, I've made a rescue, an ejection, and a static port decal. And these, I mean, they're real simple. This is just an ellipse with the border, or with the stroke, and then with five, or excuse me, seven, smaller circles in the middle and they're all right there i just kind of lined them out i just eyeball it i didn't like get technical with it because on the grand scheme of things it's so small you're really not going to see it so that's i made one for the static ports i made one for the ejection seat and then i made one for the rescue sign and like i said if we come back over to the notes i'm not 100 percent sold on the red and white on this livery. Let's take a look at it in the model viewer, which I haven't loaded up today. So that's going to take a minute. I'm running behind today, trying to get all this stuff sorted out, being I had issues on Tuesday, trying to make sure everything was working and it pushed me back a little bit. So I didn't get a chance to load everything. But uh, I'm, I'm also going to look at some of the other ones. So here's one. This is the default one that has basically all those stencils on it. And what does that say? Dang, that's just a danger sign, but that's not an ejection seat. It must be something else, maybe for the cartridges for jettison or something. But there's a there's a lot of excess writing. I mean, and it, it doesn't look bad. Don't get me wrong. I just personally don't like all that. So let's bring up mine. Oops, F5. D, and then... So they're still writing on there, as you can see. Uh, I also did fix the lines and rivets, which we'll talk about in a minute. But I'm not sure I like this this red and this yellow. The yellow is not as bad. The red one, the red ejection seat thing, really kind of stands out to me. Let's look at just look at a couple other liveries that are default with the model and kind of see what they did. You can see this one has the same writing. Some of it's in red, some of it's in black. They also colored this door. Uh, let's see. Here's a U.S. aggressors. So here's what I was talking about by the the two static ports with the circle around it. But see, this one's in black and white, and I really like that. I think I am gonna make this. I'm, I'm probably gonna end up putting the USAF uh, scheme on it. And most of their things, if you look, are are just black. Like they're there's no not a lot of red in the decals. I just noticed. These, these don't have the markings around them like the one I do. And I actually like that. That looks cleaner. I'll talk about that when we get to them. Uh, but yeah, I think I like this black and white better. 
it, it just looks cleaner. I took out the jack point and the lifting point icons on mine. I just didn't really see a reason for them there. Uh, I moved this onto the door. I'm, I'm, this is just an assumption on my part, but I'm guessing this is the single point refueling door. Uh, I don't know the F5. So I just put the mark, I made it smaller, put it on the door and then brought the text over underneath it. You can look at that real quick. Uh, let's see, it's right here. So yeah, I just modified that a little bit. And took out some of that. But I think, I also like this jet intake. I think I'm gonna put that on mine uh, eventually. I don't know, just kind of little extra decal, but I'll make it subdued and match in with the uh, with the airframe a little more. See, this one doesn't have a, it, it. It just all depends on the paint scheme, really. This one doesn't have the jet intake. And, and then again, I might not put that on. It's just kind of one of those things. It'd be really easy to make. It's just a couple thick lines with an arrow. But I do like this black. So let's do that real quick. Uh, we'll head over to my decals, one that I made should be pretty quick to change this up because I just have the uh, they're just triangles with fills and strokes so uh, I don't think it needs to be black let's look well the inside they actually have clear and then the border is black let's look at some of the other ones real quick yeah I guess it really isn't a, a standard way okay let's see so if we go with that and then we take our second triangle and then we need to change our dangers to black yeah i don't know I do like it i like it like that I'm wondering if this second triangle being transparent might be a better way to go. And then the danger is kind of right on the skin. That might be better. Let's try that. We'll just copy merged and bring it over here to the nose. It's gonna be quite large. I made those stencils in 1024. Come on, Photoshop. There we go. Uh, I did that so that I could scale them down without losing anything relatively easy uh see and i also created these folders where i have things organized so we're gonna just bring this down by the other ejection seat for now we'll rename it if i like this once we get it in place let's get rid of that one wondering if I shouldn't mask that center section out. So there it is at 100%. Look at some of these other ones. So the danger's in white with the black border, whereas I did it with that. And, and there's, like I said, there's not a definitive way that you have to do it. Kind of whatever works for your style. I'm just trying to get some ideas. Uh, that one's a big one. I don't like that. Black. So this is more like the style I did with the black inside. Uh, I think if I do that, though, I just want that ejection seat to be transparent, you know, so that it's. Let's try that. Let's uh, set that decal to transparent. And there's a couple ways to do this. One, I could just create a mask with it or I could convert this. Well, it's already converted over on the other image. We could convert it or rasterize it and basically just, oops, copy the text and delete it out. What I'm gonna do for this one is just that. I'm gonna bring this in, grab my tool. So I wanna do, no. Yeah, with the stencil, this is not the way to go. So let's get that out of here. If they were solid letters, it'd be quicker that way. So what I'll do is I'll make a mask instead. And we'll just take this. I'm going to duplicate it real quick. So we have that uh, font selected. 
And now we come down to our triangle and we can... Well, it's not giving me the option. Create clipping mask. But now we need to... Why is it not here? I should have a mask here. Hmm. I should be able to invert it. Let's see if it's in the uh, layer mask. Interesting. So normally when you do a mask, you get a, the properties change over here. That's the one I want. But I notice I'm not even getting, normally there's, oh, it's right here. Okay. So I'm just, here we go. Now we want to invert that. So now. did not there it worked i had two fonts showing so you can see now that that's transparent uh with that mask and there's the mask right there i just used the selection from the font to get the mask it's confusing me because i had two fonts going I, I guess i really don't need that let's delete that out of there now we'll copy this whole thing over You can see already it's going to, man, I don't know what's up with my computer, but every time I bring something into Photoshop or edit something, do something minor, it just slows down to no end. It's funny because I can play games and I have zero issues in great FPS and I come into here and I start having issues. I'm wondering if I don't have a scratch disc or something set up wrong or goofing up somewhere so i do like that a lot better uh a little more subdued and and if we wanted to now that we have this in here where's that at? let's do bw ejection black and white ejection so if we wanted that to be a little more subdued we could or we could either put a color overlay or we could just drop the transparency down a little bit this is something i haven't done yet uh, a lot of times i'll come in and i'll add just a little transparency to all of these uh fonts and stuff but I'm going to wait until I get the weathering done to see if I need to do that. One sec, just checking some things here. Just making sure the stream health is still good and things are still working. It, it appears that everything's working today. So hopefully, hopefully it's working. Yeah, it's showing definitely showing that it's up so come on in say hi nobody stopped by today or at least nobody said anything if they've stopped by so now we're gonna take this one we'll just duplicate it that's just alt click and drag uh, rotate it 180 out line it up over the other one now we need to get rid of our other one. I'm just gonna delete these because I, I can always go back and, and bring them back in. Yeah, I like that. I do like that. I think I'm gonna do the same thing with the rescue. So it's gonna it's going to be. Uh, I don't know. Do I want it to be uh, black infill with white text? Let's see what. Yeah, I like this where it's just kind of hollow. This is what I like. So we'll go back over to this file. We'll hide the ejection decal. We don't need it anymore. And here I have two. And the reason why is because when you flip it, the text and the arrow wasn't pointing the right way. So if we can just take the fill out of this one. Go ahead and take the fill out of this one too for now. Grab this again. So yeah, when you flip this one, if you don't redo that arrow, you got to basically have two arrows or it just doesn't work out right. Come in here. Get this down to the right size. Let's call it Rescue Hollow. Got to find the other rescue. I didn't necessarily name everything up, which is really bad. There it is. And with that, I think I'm going to get rid of this yellow panel that I have here. Thought that was going to be a good idea. Add a little color to it, but... Just didn't like it. Let's see if I can find it. it. Should be under 
free pattern livery detail color. So I added another folder in here that those are in. Yeah, I do like that a lot better. So let's get this one in. Same process, just don't have to flip this one. Too much zoom. Get rid of the other rescue. Name this first. Where is that? Rescue detail. And I'm gonna go ahead and just delete these. I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna change my mind on that. Uh, we might wanna put a border around this. Sometimes they will put like a, a dashed border around emergency panels or rescue panels, things like that. I don't know, we'll see. Let's see what it looks like. Looking at this one, they didn't do that. So, I do like this paint scheme though. There's another camel pattern I need to do one of these days. I really haven't done one of these. What is this called? Just aggressors, I guess. Let's save this out and look at the difference. Before I save it out though, I actually want to bring this back over so we can see the difference. So there it is currently. Holy shit, you probably heard that through my mic. Why is that so loud? All right, I turned it down. Hopefully it won't do that again. We'll just give it a quick test to see if it does. Yeah, that, uh, there was an update a couple, uh, about a week ago to my audio software. And man, ever since then, it just seems like, yeah, I didn't get the Dean that time. Seems like everything I do just counterintuitive. Like every, everything that I used to have working is broken and just been a pain in the butt. All right, before, after. Yeah, I like that better. A little more subdued, a little more, I guess, tactical. Now, I didn't mention these on that other livery. It had a much better uh, fuel cap. These are fuel caps, I'm pretty sure. Uh, where was that one at? Oh, wow. I don't like that one. Get that. That's the same cap. Same cap. There was one that had a different cap on it that I really liked. Maybe I was just dreaming. I thought it did, but maybe not. You can see some of them are changing slightly. This one's really quite different. Yeah, and see, this is some nice weathering. Looks like the field's been running down the side there. I, I like that. That looks that looks good. That's the kind of weathering I like to do. And we're get, we'll get there. Hopefully, today the plan is to get the detailing ninety percent done, and then start doing the weathering. I think I'm gonna remove these large black circles I put in. I don't like them. Uh, I thought they would just add, but I'm not liking them now that I look at them in there. So let me find those. Fuel outline, there it is. And the other one is on the other texture file, the tail texture file. There we go. Got rid of those. This is where we have a lot of work to do today. It's down here on this back end of the aircraft. I'm not going to have a lot of this text on my livery. Just don't care for it. So there won't be a whole lot to do, uh, some symbol work to do. Uh, some of these are a little bit too big in my opinion and we'll get that done there. One thing, let's see if I can bring, I have a, a, a cheat sheet for what all these symbols mean uh, for basically their maintenance symbols. Uh, like for example, you got your jack point, your lifting point, your toe point. Uh, I believe that fire extinguisher. It's been a while. Fire extinguisher. I don't know what. I don't remember what square is. Been too long. But you can just Google aircraft maintenance symbols and 
you can get an idea if you don't know what they are. But for the most part, I don't want a lot of these. I want this external power symbol. But before we get into working too much more on that, I want to finalize the nose section. And I'm all over the place today, but it's the joys of livery creation. I also need to make sure. Yep, I'm back. I'm jumping all over. That I did change this one, though. Why is this being... Yeah, okay, that one is 4096. I don't know why that keeps going to inches. I didn't do anything to change that. So on the nose of our model, I'm happy with the ejection seat now, the rescue, the, the text all looks the one around there. And this is just a copy. So if I if I ever do want these back, I have them stored down there. And then that brought that back up. Is there anything else? I put some stuff on the pylon. I'm not worried about that yet. We'll detail the pylons later. Sometimes I don't do a whole lot with the pylons. It's something that you don't really look a lot at. Some serious markings down there. I don't know what those are. But yeah, that, that brought my oxygen back in. I did take off the danger signs by the guns. I just didn't think that was necessary. I mean, <laughs> you look at the model, you pretty much know that, hey, there's guns there. I don't need a danger sign. Tell me there's guns there. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. I don't think there's... I think the nose is wrapped up. Uh, I already did the lines and rivets. I'm not going to cover them now. I'll cover them when I do them on the wing of how I set them up to get this kind of... They're there, but they're not prominent look going on. The tail ones are some issues. You can see these are a little bit... A little bit... They stick out a little more than the front ones, as you can see. But I don't, I'm not sure if that's actually just because there's not as many up here. Because these are heavily riveted panels or screwed on panels or something. So they stick out a little more. But I think the nose, if, if we come in here, you can see this is where the, the seam is basically. And you don't really see a big difference between the lines and rivets between here and here. Pretty similar from there to there. So I've got the, the balance right. It might have to just tweak these down. And then again... uh when I weather these, uh, we might want this to be this this prominent. The belly's looking good. The belly's gonna get really dirty when we do the weathering down there. But again, so here's our here's our seam point basically. And you can see there there is a difference. Okay, so right here you can see there's something different between our lines. I want I need to fix that before we go any further. But let's look here. So this is where it's at. And I have two line, or I have one line file actually. Now that one does, why does, why is that one thicker? So the original lines, let's turn this one off. There were three files in here, as you can see. There's a, and I don't, the lines are just thicker. There's nothing, nothing I can do about that unless I redraw them all. Or we make the other ones thicker on the nose section. So, yeah, I don't like that. I really, really don't like that. So what I did is I merged all these into one file. These shouldn't be that, that thick, but I don't... I don't know. See, this, this style looks better to me. I do not want to redo all of these lines. There's I, there's some ways I can sneak them down a little bit, I hope. Let's do some experimenting and see what we can do. First thing we'll do is we'll just try a simple modify the selection. We'll contract it by one pixel. We'll invert it and we'll, uh, ah, and we'll select the layer and then we'll delete. So what I did there was I selected the lines by control clicking the layer. I inverted that selection. So it's basically the opposite of what the lines are. Then I shrunk it down one pixel and deleted the excess paint markings. Basically let's save this out and see what it looks like on the actual model. This is one of those that I might end up doing when I'm not streaming as it's, 
going to be cons time consuming if I if this didn't get it. Hopefully this will get it. Then we'll be able to tell right where was that at? Where's that line difference? Right here. You can see the thickness difference. That's better. Uh, I, I can live with that. It's a little too dim now, but that's easy. That's just an opacity thing. Uh, we look at the opacity on this. It's at 40. I believe these are at 40 as well. Let me bring up my lines. Yeah, these are at 40, but you know, they were drawn differently. So let's bring this one up to 45. Because you definitely want these to flow between your different texture files. If they are drastically different, like if this is really dark and this is really light, and you come in, I mean, it, it just looks really bad. You can see some artifacting right there, too, at the end of the texture. But I'm not gonna, I can't really do much about it, but there it is. You can also see this side doesn't have any rivets on this side, but this side does. So I might come in and delete these out. That's minor details that, you know, I'm very picky when it comes to that stuff. They don't line up perfect, but, you know, from this view, you're never going to see that. Let's see if they line up everywhere else looks good. Yeah, and I bet you, yeah, that, that toned out the back a lot. That thickness, that heaviness around those panel lines is gone now, so... We got away with that one. Luckily, that little trick of selecting the layer, inverting it, and then shrinking it by one pixel and deleting everything in that range worked. Sometimes it doesn't work because there's not enough room for it to work, but this this time it did. So that looks better. The, the lines are pretty standard across there now. So with that done, the nose is good, the lines are good. I think it's time to move on to this section, the tail section. And there's going to be a lot of editing here. We're gonna start with some of the simple stuff. Let me get my copy up, there it is. Okay, so tech symbols. For now, we're gonna turn that off. We'll work at one later time, so we'll start with stencils. Uh, this doesn't look the greatest, but it will work for what I want. I do want to resize it though. I don't think that that's a little bit overkill and I'm going to put it right on the door. We've got a problem here. It's coming. There's some text here. So what I'm going to do is just erase that text first. And I already know what's going there, but we're going to redo that. That's the fire extinguisher access, I guess, from what little research I did. So let's grab just this guy. Gonna cut him and paste him, and then I'm gonna move him over to the door, and I am gonna shrink it down. I don't, I think the symbols, it feels to me, I don't know, I could be wrong, but it just feels like the symbols on this aircraft are a little too big. And that thing does not want to line up. Try that. Oh, not right. There we go. Maybe back just a degree. Too much. And if, if you see some like artifacting, like you can see there's some artifacting around that. Real quick, I'm gonna name this so I know what it is. External power. You can throw a color overlay on it. Bring that over here. And that'll, that'll help with that a little bit. Don't have to, but it does. Kind of made it a little thicker as you can see too, because there's some of that outlying stuff, but it makes it a lot cleaner as well. I think I'm going to shrink it down just a touch more. There we go. I like that. I'm not going to put these on. Let me go ahead and get this up into my symbols panel. Or symbols folder. Excuse me. I'm not, I'm not going to put these stencils on. I just, I don't, I don't want them. I don't want all this extra stuff. Definitely don't want to say jackpad here. I don't want that. Don't want the toe point or the jacking points. Uh, this one, I do want the arrestor hook. This, don't want. 
talking about disconnecting things for removing engines or something. Don't care. All that's gone. I'm not sure what this one says. Or this one. So, like, we can't read this very well, right? So, this is another situation where you can throw a color overlay on. And you can see that kind of brought that text out uh, a little bit. Loaded door or something. Doesn't really care. Hand off care. Something hand operation. I still can't read it good. Every spring loaded door. That's what. Use extreme care during hand operation. That's what it says. I don't mind that. That's a good little text to have on there. Uh, let's see if we can make out what this other one says now. Access for filling utility system hydraulic reservoir. Utility system hydraulic reservoir level. So, yeah, I like that. That's good to have on there. Uh, this is a servicing, servicing dot. Hydraulic servicing. So what I'll probably do here, I do kind of like having that on there. Usually they're color-coded, but, you know, whatever. I'm going to just copy it, or excuse me, cut it and put it right on the door kind of centered up on that door this is the uh the more of a details layer the tech layer so i think that's m315 i don't know what the air force uses for hydraulic oil but uh we could find out. I think I, I'm just going to put this text though. I'm not going to worry about that other stuff. Before I do that, let's just make sure I've kind of tracked down everything out. This is wrong now. Okay, so that's on the tech layer. I thought I had a fuel, a fuel cap on there too. This is some playing around I was doing here with other things. So that's part of this. Oh, because I color overlaid that stencil. That's why I didn't want that one on there. Let's see, that should be red like that. So that was, I, I sh that should have been on this layer, but I'm gonna move this up. We'll just call this service dot. Quickly gonna just check, make sure the stream is Still going. Looks like it is. Well, that's a good news. I don't know what the issue was Tuesday. Yeah, I had some serious, serious problems with it. But it's back up and working now, so that's good. Hopefully the uh, the VOD saves out this time. Oh, sorry for the distractions. It's one of those days. So we got the service dot in. We took that color overlay off because we don't really want it on that overall file. That's good. Again, here's a bunch of this text that I don't want. So let's grab our eraser. Don't want any of this. Oh, the reason I had the color overlay on there was so I could read the text. That's right. I can turn it back on just to see if we can read any of this. Come on. Access to something. Don't care. Get rid of that. Engine oil tank. So that's what that one is. Don't want that. Don't want that. Don't care about the jack pad, lifting points, toll points, jack points. We will put that piece in, that piece in, but it'll just be copied from the other one. This again is... I think that's inverted access point. Yeah, that's the same thing. Uh, we're just going to erase this one and copy our other dot down. Because... Uh, why wouldn't we get that in there? Liking that. Now we just got to do some text. 
Uh, just so that I can keep with the same format, I'll copy one of my text layers from over here. We'll just take this one. It's a smaller one. I tried to stick with all my font sizes basically being around the same size. I already had one here. I could have just used that, I guess. And that was just for consistency. So let's rework this one. I'm going to abbreviate reservoir. No reason to type it out. Oh, that's supposed to be the whole thing, though. There we go. And then what was the other one below it? Utility system and reservoir level. I'm not going to. Uh, I'm not even going to. Yeah, I'm not going to put that. Because, I mean, this says utility system right here. So I don't think I need it in there twice. Now, sometimes rotating these fonts can lead to some really weird lettering effects hopefully it doesn't on this one let's erase that out yeah you can see how it, it's got a really weird like it shook those numbers around a lot but sometimes you just got to play with these until you get it just how you want it i can live with that it's not lined up 100%, but it'll work. Get rid of that. Do this one. I think I have a larger one over here. One of these warning ones. Yeah. Might need to bring the size up. I don't know. 16. That's about as big as I like to get. I will leave that arrow on there. I'm okay with that arrow being there. Get rid of that. Yeah, that looks all right. I can live with that. Let's see what else we got here. This one, yeah, we can do this one. See, a lot of times I actually just copy and paste. We need to get one that's straight across. I keep messing up here. This one might work. Let's, ooh, no, that definitely made it big. And that is why I usually copy and paste. Just keep, it brings all your settings over basically. All right, heavy. Spring loaded door use extreme care during operation. I kind of went with my own text a little bit, but you know. Like that. Erase this part of it. We gotta be careful not to erase that arrow on this one. Now that one really you can see it. The the letters really got out of whack on that one. So let's try to find a happy medium point. And one thing I could do, okay, so if you don't want to so the fonts is what's causing that. It's not the image, it's the font. So I could take this font, if I'm not gonna change it, I could rasterize it, right? And now when I rotate it, it won't do that. But the problem with that is, is now if I do need to change it, I can't. So what you can do is just duplicate it as a font, rasterize one and hide the old one. And that way, if you need to come back, you can. But this, this if you got a big, block of text like this that just doesn't want to cooperate with with turning the letters like that just wrap, make a copy of it rasterize it throw it in there and you can see now oops, i did get that arrow a little bit see now it doesn't it doesn't care about the turning and and if there's any of the other ones when i get done i'll, I'll come back and redo that usually i don't do that till the end i just wanted to show it while i was here 
we have that. This is the fire extinguisher access. We are going to do this one too. Extinguisher access. I don't. I don't care about the arrows, so I'm not going to worry about them. Let's erase this. Not good at lining things up today. There we go. Fire things for accents. This is external power. We can throw one on there as well if we want. This says external power. Oh, power. This one I'll make much smaller and try to get it on the door. It'll just look better. That's one of those things where the, the rotation just didn't come out right. It almost looks like it's uh, italicized. So let's bring it back out. And that one just does not want to get in there right keep trying to like stretch it so let's try it without it being rasterized now it's all wobbly all right don't care about external power that one's gone <laughs> we got the symbol on there so i'm okay with that uh let's see is there anything else on this side i think this is a ground point Again, it seems like it's overly large, but I will leave it that size. I am going to delete this tech though and put a new one in. It just says ground point. I don't know where the actual ground point is, but Detailing is probably pretty boring to watch. I'm not going to lie, but it's one of those things that. Oh, these need to be up here. It's one of those things that can really uh, make it stand out. Get those in there. I'm curious. You can see here. So, and this goes back to my creation. So you can see that this line and this line are not in the same spot. So let's look at our our model here. So yeah, so this side, so I didn't quite get that uh, belly line right. So which side do we like better? I like this side. So what we need to do is we need to tweak this. And luckily we actually have this we can use to help line that up. So let's go down, find our livery. That would be a top layer right there. So you can see right away that this has an extra point in it here that this one doesn't have. Looks like I finished it off right. So all I really need to do is add a point. And drag it down here. Still not quite right because you can see actually it is because this is not in the same position as that let's take a look at that and see what it looks like
think that front edge needs to come down just a little bit. Bring up the wireframe. Okay, so it's right here. Gonna bring that right to there. Do that on both sides, that should give me... Okay, there's another point here that's not on the top side. I can delete that. That'll give me that more. There we go. Now I think we're cooking. Turn that off. And that's the thing, as you come through here doing detail work, you're going to find little things that you might have missed the first time through on your patterns or whatever. Not a big deal. That's why you do it in layers. Keep your layers organized. And it's really easy to come back and fix. Now we're now we're good. Okay, so I think I'm gonna move that just down onto the white and not turn it. I don't I don't think that needs to be turned. That does need to be turned a little bit of the way they laid that out. Let's look at the UV and see. So yeah, I think I can... Gotta find that one. Danger resting hook. We bring it down here. Kind of line it up with the UV instead of with the uh, paint scheme. See what that does. Uh, you can see the arrow, of course, got messed up because of that. But easy fix. Just take it out. Eat it. Uh, yeah. Doesn't have the color overlay on it anymore because uh, I pulled it out of that. I do like that better. So we'll have to do the same thing down here, and and we'll be bringing those uh, those layers down and just duplicating them and lining them up. Let's go ahead and do that with the this one first. If I hold down shift, then I can get a flat 180 turn, but we that is, you can see, not the right way. So we can go back up to this other one sometimes. It'll give you uh, the ro the transform rotation here. So we are at, we're gonna just go with a flat six degrees here. So now I know that this one needs to be minus 174, 180 minus six. I went the wrong way. So let's try minus 180, 184. Oh, can't do that. So let's do four. Six. Why? Okay, 180. Okay, okay, there we go. Because this is actually off the original transformation I see now. And then we just need to rotate it this way, six degrees. It just was my brain not working right. But yeah, you can always go back and look at your actual rotation values and your properties to see how much you rotated an item if you want to get it exact. And sometimes fixing them to solid numbers can actually fix some of the strangeness when you're rotating fonts, but not always. So don't count on it. And these two we can actually merge together and then just put the color overlay on both of them. Okay, so this one's done. Take a look at it and just make sure we like that position. The rotation and everything before we move on. Something just tell me it's not going to look quite right, but it could just be the way it's unwrapped. Because I want it to be more 
lined up with this. Yes, that's better. Okay, so it did work. I used the UV line instead of the panel line because that panel line's at an angle, so. I do like that there on the white pointing down like that. That looks pretty good. I don't, I don't see why there would be a external power on both sides of the aircraft, but maybe there is. I don't know. Uh, most of the time, one side of the aircraft is not identical to the other side of the aircraft, but you know, yeah, you never know. The fire extinguisher access, I could see maybe if it's laying in here, like, across here and you pull it out this way or the other way i can maybe see that one but i don't know i don't see the external power being on both sides but i don't like i said i'm not an f5 guy so couldn't tell you so now see we've been going right out an hour we've got this side done let's just copy these over here and then i'll take a quick break it's going a little slower than i wanted it to today but you know, it is what it is. Can't help it. Sometimes you just get stuck on an item and you can spend all day messing with it. Come on. These ones, I'm not trying to do the precise rotation. I'm just going to get them in here. Make it look good. Erase the stuff behind it. For some reason that one does not want to look good, but we'll get it there. Uh, let's do the caution. upside down sometimes lining things up can be a little trickier but that one's in we need our hydraulic one that's our fuel one access right here So this one's giving me a little fit. So what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and convert it over to a rasterized image. Then I'll rotate it around. I just don't want to fight it more than I have to. Sometimes just doing it like that makes life a little easier. Where did that one go? Access move it down a little bit or I guess technically up depending on what side of the aircraft you're looking at already did the ground points fire extinguisher access I'm not going to do the external power on this side quickly just checking some things over here just making sure the stream's still running all right after my issues on Tuesday, I'm a little gun shy of it. I check it every 10 minutes or so to make sure that everything's looking good. All right. I think we have all the text on this side. I'm not going to do the pylons. I'll come back and I'll do the pylons at the end. Uh, you might have some of the tech. Oh, we need to re-enable the tech now. That's one thing we need to look at. So the tech is like the smaller details, like that window on there. It has uh, some of these points, things like that. Uh, and they're just little more details. That's an actual grounding point. That's what a grounding point looks like with the dot in the middle and it tells you the static grounding point, basically. I don't know what these are then. I, I thought they were grounding points, but that's the same symbol. Just that's the one I'm used to seeing. So I don't know, we'll leave them small detail doesn't hurt to have it on there 
So it looks like with the tech legends on and the details in looking pretty good. Let's save this one out and if everything's looking good, I'll take a quick break and then we can move on to the other two files. Oh, let's see. And we're good. Yeah, it added the little jacking point there. That was part of the tech legend stuff. Put all the little details on. Yeah, I don't, I might delete. I, when I don't know what something is, I usually tend to get rid of it. These are landing gear bays, right? No, the landing gear is here, so. That is a grounding symbol, because that's the same thing, but that's what I'm used to seeing as a grounding point. Uh, this side looking all right. Let's take a look. So it looks like that caution could be rotated a little bit if you look at it. Not quite right. So let's bring that a couple more degrees over. Try to line it up with that. You can see here, it just kind of looks like it's kicked forward a little bit. So, don't want that. I didn't do this in a, like, mathematical, precise way, or else I wouldn't be fighting these. I should have. But I just wanted to get them knocked out. There we go. Whoever spray painted that on, a little tired. He was leaning to the left a little bit, but it's all right. So I think we're good to move on to the wings and the tail section. So when you do that, I'll be showing more on how I took the original lines out of the texture file and, and made them work. So I'll be back in like five minutes. So.
All right, I'm back. Back a little earlier. Didn't take the full five. Just needed to refill the coffee. All righty. So, next up, we're going to look at these wing lines. Uh, you can see now, I haven't done anything to this file. The other two I worked on, on that previous stream that got wiped out. So, this one you'll get to see basically from the, uh, from the beginning of how I set that everything up there first thing i want to get these grouped up into uh the uh three color livery i believe that's what i named it on these let's just check let's minimize or collapse all these folders three pattern livery is what i called it close enough i'm picky three pattern livery uh and then i do normally mark these colors and I do orange for mine and then I do for this livery I'm just doing purple for the originals uh, and the reason why is that way is I'm moving stuff around I kind of know if it's one that I'm working on if it's one I've created excuse me or one that uh, one that came with the temp texture template So here we have all of our original ones. And some of these you can't delete. Like I'm never gonna use that main color again, so I can delete that, but uh, we do have lines here. I also set up folders for details, lines and rivets. I usually set these up. And that's just so that I have somewhere to put things I'm working on. Don't have to, you can do them all in one if you want, or you can, you can lay these out pretty much whatever works for you. Just remember that, well, first of all, how to spell. Get your lines and rivets. But just remember that the, the layer order does matter. So find an assistant that works good for you and then work with that. Usually underneath this folder, I create another folder called text and another folder called symbols. them in here and a lot of times you want your line and rivets over top of your de details so let's see if I can find an example of that I think in here I was pretty good about trying to keep all my lines and rivets separate but here the lines and rivets are actually coming over that so most of the time you're gonna want that over that because your rivets are gonna the paint on your text is gonna wear through your rivets over time basically that's more of a weathering thing but it's just something you can do now to uh, make sure that they're, I guess, working with each other in the right path, uh, method. I didn't do it on these yet, but they're done now. And, th and that's where doing these into groups is handy because you can literally just grab a, grab a group, drag it up above it, and then it's set where you want it. So normally what I'll do is I'll just take a copy of this. I'll throw it up here in this one. And you'll see it's still purple because it inherited that color from there. And now we're going to edit this to try to make it look better. So it's white. There's no, there's nothing on this. Like there's no opacities, there's no fills, there's no nothing. So for now, let's try to just at least get it to the same color by just throwing a black overlay on it. And if you remember these ones, we're at like 40% opacity with the outer glow. But what we can do if we want, we can just copy this layer style from this one and then paste that style right onto this one. And you see, it kind of did what I wanted, but not really. You still see it did some of that white stuff in there. And that is probably, no, that's right. That's right. So where did that white come from? Okay, it's not coming from my layer. Okay, so you can see I turn that on and it comes back up. So there's something in here that is messing. Oh, I still have the original lines on. That's why. I don't know how that got turned back on. So now 40% opacity. You can see it up here. So there it is with the, you know, you can tweak this. And, and 40 might not be right but it'll get us close. And the first thing I'll do is just save this one out and see how close we actually are to 
the body the body rivets we want them to be really similar so you see these are pretty dim you know they don't really stick out Ooh, those do too much so here's another example you can compare the, the belly rivets to these rivets and again it looks like we got some of those really thick lines going on we might have to uh tone them down but we'll, we'll wait till we get it close in color first and then we'll do that so that was too much let's bring it down try 25 and this is just whoever made the template should have done a better job of making sure that all the lines files excuse me all the line layers throughout all the files were at least similar uh, these aren't even close like there was one that had multiple layers there was another one that uh, had different opacities and fills. We're getting closer. Yeah, we're definitely getting closer. Really hard to tell. It's still a little dark. Not terrible though. It might be all right. We might actually darken up the other ones to match this. The belly is really a good place to check because we have that white underlay. Yeah, there's some very thick lines here. But there would be some thicker rivets probably on these main structure points here. I don't know that they would be that big, but. I'm, I'm thinking that's pretty good. You see it washed out the uh, leading and trailing edges quite a bit too. Like these ones back here really got washed out. We can bring that in with some weathering though. I think I'm okay with that. They look pretty similar. Uh, another place to check is kind of like the nose. You can see there's these heavier rivets here and they're pretty close to the same weight as those rivets, so. I'm happy with that. Let's look. Uh, let's look at going into the, some of the details now. One second. Not showing. We got some more weird stuff going on here. Uh, I don't know what's up with YouTube and live stream. I I don't want to go over to Twitch, but uh. Might have to, because I, I don't seem to be, things don't seem to be working right. Even though it says I have an excellent connection. Uh, it's not updating properly. There's some serious latency going on or something. I don't know what's going on with it. Just playing with some settings real quick. Bear with me for a minute. Yeah, it's not, not even showing. Not showing things right so if somebody stopped in and uh, said something and it's not coming through I apologize but I need to create another account so I can like test it out or something oh well we'll just uh, keep on carrying on and I'll review it when I get done details 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 so we know we have and now that I've reworked this, I'm actually going to change this to an orange file. Even though it's an original layer, it's now one that I've modified and made work. So I'll change it to orange just to keep keep track of it to know that uh, I'm good there. Let's find stencils early copy. So we got stencils, we got scratches, and I know I don't want scratches. We already did the line. That's just detailing that we're not going to worry about. So it looks like the only one we really have here are the stencils early copy. Let's, ooh, no, I don't want to delete. I want to duplicate. And I'm just going to bring that up here and drop it in between these two and turn off the original one. That way I don't edit the original one. Now these are going to be mostly like no steps or cautions. I do, oh man, these are the ones that are like inverted or backwards or whatever. 
So I will have to work on them. That's going to be a pain in the butt, but we'll get there. Uh, hmm. Well, that one's right. And this one's the one that's inverted. So there, I've been looking at some pictures. Yep, it just... Oh, man, what the hell is going on here? Sorry, just technical issues keep plaguing me over here. I looked over and like it said I had no signal again, but they're still saying I'm live, so hopefully I am. I don't know. Do some research on this, figure out what the hell's going on. Really getting frustrating, though. And trying to cut these down into actual videos and edit them and put them out in like 30 minute sessions was about impossible. That's why I went to the live streaming of this because two or three people would have expressed interest in my method. So that's why I'm doing this. But now it's turning into a freaking headache. So we'll see. We'll just keep at it. Eventually I'll get all the bugs worked out. But back to what I was saying there, I've looked at some images and some of them have like a, a line. In fact, I think there's one of the liveries that has what I want to do on it. Let's see if I can find it. Has like a uh, walkway line that goes down the wing. Not that one. There, here we go. So you can see they've got these lines and then it says walkway on the lines. And I, I like this style. I think this is an interesting way to do it. Thought there was a better one out there. Yeah, that one's a little thick, but but this is where some of that uh, creative liberty comes into play. You can kind of do this how you want. You could just put the walks. Here's one that says walkway with no step. This is the style I want. Uh, kind of goes right up against the airframe all the way out. And you can see these are underneath the rivet. You can definitely see that here, like it's worn through. That's the look we want eventually. This one's actually got a really nice weathering job on it. Uh, take some notes from this when we go to weathering ours. But let's get these drawn in first. These are honeycomb warnings, which uh, don't know. I don't know that I'll put them on. I'll probably just put no steps there. Let's, yeah, let's draw that in first. We find our wing section that we want. We can use these UV layers. Now these are going to be drawn the same way I draw those layers, uh, the, the pattern, but I'm gonna do it under the symbols. Mainly because, what is going on with this? I just want a black stroke. I don't want none of that crazy stuff. I forgot I was playing with uh, pattern lines earlier. Let's see, let's see. Kind of using this as a cheat sheet. So it looks like it comes right down through here. I don't know that it needs to go. That is very, very thick though. Tone it down a bit. We'll use the uh, the rivet lines here to kind of help line this up. Put it right inside that line. So basically it's going to go right on that rivet line. Like that. And right now you don't see the, the rivet line over that because the rivets are black and this is black. So it just kind of washes it all out. Let's add another one in over here. And we'll tweak it into place where we want it. Oh. 
Oh. Clicked off the screen there. Sorry about that. Just drug a window out there. And I drag these off just so I can kind of see exactly where I'm going with them. <laughs> then I bring it back over that line. I like that. Uh, these are walkways. I think I can, yeah, I can combine them. Walkway lines. Works there. And then we can, uh, we can either copy these or we can draw new ones onto the next ones. Doesn't really matter. Oh, got a message. So, hey, chat's working. Keep up the great work. Ah, oh, thanks, man. Yeah, I will. So, chat is working. I'm glad you like it. Wait a minute. Oh, message retracted. Interesting. Didn't know you could do that. Okay. <laughs> At least I know it's working. That's that's a plus. Uh, but we'll just copy these over. Oh, forgot to hold down Alt. There we go. And this will now we just gotta flip and mirror and do all that stuff. I think I just gotta flip it vertical now. Why is that not lining up? That should line up with that one. Ah, oh, there we go. Helps if you're in the right spot. Tweak it, get it into place where it belongs. I like that. Let's save it out and see what it looks like. Not the nose. Oh, my brain is just not working right today. Wing. Get mine back up. So it goes out a little bit too far. I'll bring that back in, tied in with uh, that line. Their side looks fine though, and they are a little, little bold. I'll I'll dim them out here in a minute. But let's fix the. Uh, the wing tip. Well, that one doesn't go out past it. it. Must be just this one. Yeah, just this one needs to be uh, tweaked a little bit. Bring that in. So the A end right there. Let's uh, bring the opacity down on both of these a little bit. Try that again. It's a little bit too bold. I mean, that really sticks out. Thought I was going to like that, but I'm thinking now. Maybe I just need to, to, to fade it out a little bit more. Or could be a line thickness as well. Let's uh, try bringing it down to where they're only too wide. That might look better. And then let's also just fade them out a little bit more. Go 30%. Yeah, that's better. Uh, the thickness isn't quite right though. I think they do need to be that thicker. But I think the uh, dimming of them is better now. 
Let's try, try a four. I mean, they should be pretty thick. I think it's more on the uh, how how bold they are that's causing the issues. I don't know. I'm not liking that. Just not liking that. Yep. Not liking that. So what we'll do is we will... Just get rid of them. We'll get rid of the lines. We'll keep the no step there. That's like the, where they put the honeycomb warnings on that other livery. Those cautions, thin area type warnings. I'm not going to put them on there. I'm not going to put these cautions on there. So really all I need to do is put this walkway on in a couple spots. Uh, I can put a no step there. No step there. That doesn't bother me. So let's let's drop these lines out of here. I just don't like how they're turning out. They're they're not what I'm looking for. So when they're not what you're looking for, you just move on. Let's grab a text file from over here though, just so that all the uh, all the properties of it come over with it, and we'll put that in here. This one says step. I should say no step. Don't need to hit the delete. That is pretty small. I guess I could bring it down one more. See how that looks. Yeah, that'll work. Uh, let's just create two of these real quick and then we'll copy them all over the place. This one will be the walkway. And then we can copy these all over the place where we want them. No step. I'm just going to put them here for now and then I'll drag them where I want them. Because I think I want another no step there. I'm going to put some no steps along the tail as well. So along here, I'll put a no step. Uh, here, I'll put a no step. Uh, and then everywhere, there's basically a caution except for this leading. I don't think I'll put anything on the leading don't see a reason for that so let's convert I'm actually gonna duplicate these first just in case I need to change anything I have the originals convert these over to rasterized come on these are actually in the wrong folder so they need to be in the text because they are text And we'll just basically replace all the ones that are there. We'll delete the uh, stencils that are there now. Need another walkway up here. That underneath it. Is that gonna be legible? It almost. Oh, I know what I did wrong. I didn't set this image size up, and that's my fault. Yep, that's why it's not looking right. Let's do that. Well, these two won't work. We'll have to come back to the actual. Yes, now, now we're looking better. Now you can see this is much more legible. So let's get rid of these because they are old rasterized from the original. I was wondering, I was like, man, those seem like they're really small because usually I do 10 point. It actually looks like this one might need to be 14. And let's do 14 for the no step. Yes, much better. Yeah, I was like, oh, what did I do wrong there? But I see what was going on. So I already erased my stencils, but I, I have a backup here we can use. Let's duplicate these again. See that? And that's one thing we're having that uh, duplicate from the text file actually saved me. I didn't have to go through and redo the text. So sometimes it's helpful just to keep a backup and, and you can delete them when you're done to reduce file size. 
let's get the walkway then. That looks so much better. I couldn't figure out what was going on there. Do some lineup. You see these are actually smaller now, but they'll be higher resolution, so that's good. Now I can turn off the original. There we go. Walkway's good. One of those lines would look better now that I actually up the resolution. I don't know. I don't know why I'm not liking those. I just, I just don't like them. So we'll leave them out. Let's grab our no step. That on there. That wing's done. So oh, damn, wrong spot. Sorry about that. We'll just grab all of these. Bring them. Whoa. Okay, we won't do that. Oh, because I have the stencils. Oh, man, I'm all over the place. This has got to go down here. Yes, thank you. We just want these. Take. Trying to figure out how these. And I guess I have to flip it. Vertical? I think I have it flipped right now. I don't know why they make this difficult. Let's delete this, this, excuse me, not delete, but erase that. That's just removing that, uh, the background texture that was there previously. Try this. I don't, I don't know that this is flipped. It doesn't look like it is like it's, that's weird looking. We'll try it. And, uh, see what that looks like I'm just gonna move it up here so that I can see it better they've copy DDS I'm not sure that those are flipped right and that's what's bothering me okay so there it is over there but it needs to rotate 180 and that one will be right those ones actually turned out right though like that's that's legible. And I'm probably going to put some more of these throughout here. Like one here, one there, one there, one there. Just to uh, make it more defined. This one does need to be turned 180, though. That on there. Let's bring up the UV and make sure we're lined up with something here. That doesn't look bad. It's lined up with that uh, line there. So let's erase that out. Let's get one of those over here. So another no step should be that one, right? Yep. Bring it down here. This one shouldn't have to be flipped or inverted or anything. Oh, it goes up here though. Bring up the UVs, line it up with that. Is 
Did I put that other one in the middle or lined it up? Uh, we're going to put it in the middle. There we go. I'm just using the UVs as a guide. I mean, it's not really in the middle of the texture or anything like that. Do these trailing edges. Here. So let's try to get these complicated ones. Actually, I don't think they are complicated. Yeah, it's flipped. Why? Bring that up here and see if that one matches. Technically, that should be right with the way that that one's mirrored. I don't know, though. Now, see, this one's 100% back. I don't fucking get it. Like, whatever. We'll do this one, see if it's right. Where did that go? Should be that one. Ah, there it is. Yeah. So let's try trying to make sense of this because it's backwards. So it's reading from well, from left to right, but it's like upside down. No idea if this is right. But we'll look at it, and if it is, then I'll move it into position. These are hurting my brain right now. These mirrored inverted flipped for absolutely no reason. That one needs to be turned 180, basically, and it'll be good. Which does not make sense with what's here. Unless I just did the wrong one, which is possible. Let's just see. Yeah, that's the only one I've done, so it has to be that one. Yeah. Now, this one... Is wrong so that was the one I just did uh... I don't think the update went through the last time because it takes a minute for uh, the texture to get saved out so if I didn't wait long enough that time I know I did yeah so that's right okay interesting we can move it down over that spot and erase the background. I'm not going to do these ones like I said, so let's just fix that. Erase that out of there. That one was good. That one was good. So these ones should be pretty easy because they are just standard from what I can tell. No, they're not. Oh, yeah. Just turn this way. So. One of those days where the flow isn't there. That one in, that one in, that one in. I think we've got them all. Let's save a copy and see. Export it out, DDS. Please work.
all right that looks better that that one looks good that one looks good those all look good okay yeah i like that and i could come in and tweak this if i want to make them line up better uh, i do want to put a couple more walkways in just the signs and then erase those stencils from there do that that shouldn't be long so we can just erase these off here because i don't want anything there make that a little bigger see those lines and rivets that the detailing that was in here just totally are gone now have to bring those back in somehow let's go to our walkway that one right there bring the uv up just so i have something for reference just kind of winging this where I think they might go. And they're probably wrong, but you know, they'll work. Now what I could do instead of using the ones that are over here, uh, the marrying and shit doesn't work though. So it'd be better just to take this one and copy it around. Oh, that's going to suck because there's really no way to line them up, but we'll just have to make do. I'm just right now getting it in my head. This one needs to come roughly there. And this is back. It's this, uh, this side. So if we just kind of Get it close. That's lined up with the one across the way. See, it's not, but it's not. See how that looks. Closer. Bring this one down here. Exciting stuff, huh? But this is the pains of livery creation and doing the detail work if you want to do it like this not always fun oh so this is backwards so this yeah struggling today just struggling a little bit today it's all good so this is this one this one is basically this one so it's got to come upside down backward stuff is starting to get to me this one will go right there this one goes uh, it's pretty close to where it goes no it's not If you look at this no step, this goes just on this side of it. And then the next one will go down inside of this one. That one's that one. And then this one goes all the way up against the fuselage, basically. Hopefully, that's right. Now let's do the leading edge. This one's going to come. I remember these are freaking opposite, so. Go roughly in the middle there. Then another one out toward the wingtip. tip. 
about that little bar. Yeah, basically right at the edge of the map. Two, and then a third one. Ish. Oh, that was a uh, exercise in pain and misery. I haven't actually done a lot of work on the wings on the F5, and now I can see why. That was painful. Not bad. I got them pretty close. Uh, that one's being cut off, so we need to bring that one in. I think this one is as well. That one's not. So just this one on the right wing tip needs to be brought in a little bit. The rest of them don't look too bad. They're pretty similar locations. Uh, they're off a little bit, but that's fine. I can live with that. I really kind of want to put that uh, that line back in there, but it just isn't going to look right. I don't know that I like these walkways. As much work as it was to put them in, I think I'm just going to put the no steps in and leave the walkways out, even though that was a total pain in the ass. Let's just get them all put into one folder. Turn them off. I think it's just too much. Sometimes doing too much on an area just makes it look, I don't know. Doesn't make it look right to me. Come on, update, update, update. Yeah, actually I like that better. So all that work I put into doing that, but this, this is more clear. Like it, you can walk here. You can't walk here, you know? Yeah, I like that. Do the no step leave everything else off there'll be a lot more life in this when we start bringing in the uh, the weathering as well well we only have one file left to do for the lines almost to the end of the stream let's see if I can knock it out fast and if not then we'll uh, I'll just do it and show you the updates on the next stream Oh, where are we at? Where are we at? Oh, I don't have anything set up. You know, actually, yeah, we're, we're there at that closing time and I don't have this file set up. So I will, uh, I'll get it set up within the next couple days and over the weekend, I'll get all the details worked out on all of these files. And then when I come back on Tuesday, the details will be done. And then if you have any questions, stop by. Uh, we don't need that open anymore. Uh, stop by and I'll answer them. Uh, even if it's on detail, I can go back and we can look at things or whatever. I'll do this whole file on my own. I'll probably tweak this in a little bit. I might play with those lines a little more. But overall, the details are coming along nice. The nose is all done. The text is done. The tail's done. The wings are done. The only detail left is just this little bit on the on the back here. So it shouldn't take long. You might add some more details on the belly, but I don't really think so. Uh, and then it's going to be coming down to weathering. And then, of course, when we start weathering, we'll come back and we'll have to uh, probably tweak some of the details a little bit. But we're getting there. It's close. The detail work, the pain in the ass work is just about done. Then we can get on to weathering. So uh, nobody stopped by today, but that's all right. I'm going to keep on doing this. If you got time and you want to swing by, say hi and chat about anything you want. But I'm going to wrap this one up. So thanks for watching.